Oh my gosh, what are we doing? I don't know. Hey everyone, this is Travis and I am back to discuss the latest episode of Survivor. Wow. Uh, uh, stunned is the best reaction I can say after watching this past week. Um, an amazing episode. The entire time I thought Jeremy was going home. Tony... This episode, I mean, it was just phenomenal. Uh, so, this entire section, uh, this, this week of my podcast episode, is basically going to be dedicated to Tony. And um, absolutely amazing to watch, fun to watch. He accelerated his pace uh, back to more of his Kagayan pace. Kagayan pace. I'm oh can't even talk. This this episode just had me all wrapped up and speechless. Um so thank you for joining me. Let's get into it. We're gonna do we're gonna start with the draft update because for the first time after eleven episodes, I have taken my first lead in the draft with Megan. All thanks to Tony being on my team. <laughs> um, so Tony earned a point for finding an idol. He earned a point for the most confessionals. And then he won uh, individual immunity, which was his second in a row. So he earned three points. So now I have a 14 to 12 point lead. Again, my first lead of the entire season. Uh, it's pretty amazing because I've basically been in the dumps the whole season because Megan's been pretty much handily destroying me all season except with the exception of the last couple episodes so um, that's pretty awesome and Megan's team she loses Sophie which oh that's a heartbreaker in itself Uh, so she's down to just Kim Ben and Nick I still have Jeremy Michelle Denise Tony and Sarah Um, so that's a draft update. I want to just get right into my top three highlights. All three highlights are about Tony. Um, first off, Tony finds an idol. I, I, I like how this episode, you know, it kind of gives his perspective of, hey, everyone after tribal, you know, they're exhausted. They go to sleep. And so he basically starts searching. I guess my question is, did he go to sleep that night? Was he searching the whole time or was it really just early in the morning where maybe he got a few hours of sleep? Uh, So that'd be interesting to find out if he actually went to sleep at all, because it was apparent like he was like, okay, time to switch gears. I sat back, laid low, just like my wife said. And, you know, it kept me in the game. Now I'm going to kick it up a notch and it was great to see him just kind of switch gears like that. Um, So it was fun. It was a really fun episode. Obviously I was depressed for most of the episode because I thought Jeremy was going home. Um, And clearly Jeremy trusted Tony. Tony, you know, had him believing that he was on his side and and the only person that didn't buy it was Kim. Uh, Kim called BS and, but it didn't matter. Um, so, and also when Tony was out searching and Nick spotted him and Tony got him to say, okay, you search that way, a place he'd already searched and I'll keep searching here. Um, so it also helps to identify that maybe Tony and Nick are closer than what we had seen previously. Um, so that's, that's my first highlight. That whole situation with getting up early or staying up the entire night, searching for the idol. Maneuvering Nick to where he, you know, essentially acting as if they're a team as far as searching for the idol. But Tony leads him to where he's already looked so he can look in the area where he hasn't searched yet. Uh, So that's very uh, smart move on his part. Uh, Second highlight is just I'm going to talk about Tony and the extortion advantage. Um, First, his reaction to the advantage or disadvantage, it's amazing to watch. 
He's so excited. I mean, who wouldn't be excited? They think they're going to have this advantage where they can kind of, you know, hold something over someone else to get fire tokens or whatever. And then once he gets to the last line and his expression just drops and he drops the the letter and you can tell he's frustrated and but he doesn't let that hinder his motivation. Okay. What do I have to do to get past this extortion? And then he goes to Jeremy, to Nick, to Ben for fire tokens. He has three fire tokens. He needs six. Otherwise, he can't participate in the individual immunity challenge, and he can't vote at tribal council. So he flat out uses honesty to say, hey, I'm being extorted, and I need to pay this off so I can vote with you guys to make sure that we're safe. I think that makes perfect sense for everyone he told that to, regardless of the fact that he wasn't with everyone, but he used it and everyone thought that they were with him. So, I mean, at least seemingly it was easy for Tony to get people to hand it over. I mean, it seemed like boom, boom, boom. He got a token from Jeremy. Then Nick was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Ben's like, sure. Uh, I mean, Ben seems stunned. So I don't know if any of them were just afraid to say no or if they felt comfortable giving it to him in the way that they feel like he would return the favor in some way. I don't know. I'd like to hear their feedback now, like what their take was when he he was telling them about this extortion advantage. Um, so it, it's incredible to see from as soon as he got the disadvantage to going full tilt, asking other people to help him out. And all of a sudden he has six fire tokens to pay off Natalie and Parvati, the ones that sent him the extortion advantage. So um, great to see someone be able to maneuver out of that because uh, it's just incredible. I didn't think anyone else would give him a fire token, but he got three people to give him one. Um, so Tony finds an idol. That's one. Tony and the entire extortion advantage is two. Third, Tony's big move. He gets rid of Sophie, which, oh, it's devastating. You know, big fan of Sophie's. I think she's arguably played the best game to this point. Uh, and plus, she had an idol, so that's out of the game. And so now Tony has the only idol. And. I I really want to know, with her idol gone, is it going to come back into play? And will Tony go searching for that idol? Uh, which, how crazy would that be if he were to get his hands on a second idol? Um, so that big move, basically a plan was in place where he was kind of leading the charge to get Jeremy out. And then as his wheels were turning, as he was kicking up his game a notch, he was like, I got to separate Sophie and Sarah because I want Sarah to stay closer to me. And would this have been a good play? Well, first off, do we know if it's going to be a good play? I don't know. But I don't think it would have been necessarily a good play if he didn't have an idol. But with the idol, I like it. I, I think he can take a risk. He separates a pair. And... I think if we're going to look at it long term, I think what we know in the reaction that we're going to see in this com next week's episode, Sarah is going to go off. She's going to be angry. And so perhaps with that confrontation, maybe the target will then shift to Sarah in some way. Uh, so Tony's move, you know, gets rid of a solid, Solid game from Sophie. Um, I thought she was in a position to get to the end. And then all of a sudden you just have this. Tony even says, I'm going to wait till sun starts setting. And he puts his plan into motion. And he tells Tony, hey, everyone is voting for you. Oh, and by the way, Kim and Denise. Like, I was stunned that they were all for getting rid of Jeremy, making that decision. And hey, you do what you need to do to survive in a game, but it 
did they try anything else? Uh, or do they feel that because they knew Tony was BSing them that they didn't have a choice? Uh, but Tony comes to Jeremy and says, hey, everyone's voting for you. You're being played. I have a plan to save you. You, me, Nick, Michelle, we vote for. They're splitting the votes. We get Sophie out, separate her and Sarah up. Him waiting to the sunset to to announce this plan to the other three. Uh, Brilliant. It rids any opportunity for there to be any last-minute changes because his plan is the last-minute change. Um. Just what an incredible episode from Tony. Uh, I am trying to find out if there's been another episode where a Survivor player played any better. Really well done. Um, And the entire time with the voting, and you're still wondering, okay, did everyone vote for Sophie? Did someone else vote for Jeremy? So it was really until that fourth vote was read wasn't sure and the entire time ben and jeremy are looking at each other and jeremy's like you should have sided with me or should have voted with me or i told you so so i'm really interested to see what's going to happen this coming week uh jeremy looked like was trying to talk to ben ben didn't want to have any of it at the beginning of this episode so will jeremy maybe try to use that to say hey i wanted to work with you Like, I never wanted to turn on you. So could he use that as an opportunity to say, hey, I still want to work with you? Um, Or will Ben just say, you're the biggest threat. You need to go home. Uh, So there are a lot of different factors coming into this next week's episode that I think will, I hope we will say, I hope we will see play out. I know we're going to see a reaction between Sarah and Tony. I'd like to see Jeremy and Ben see how they talk to each other after this past week. And it's just going to be really interesting. And and what is Tony going to do? Tony dominated this episode. Is this the launching point for where we see Tony get to the end? Um, will he go searching for Sophie's idol? Will anyone else go searching for Sophie's idol? Um, and I would have to think, after seeing Tony stay up all night or get up early to f- search for an idol, I feel like he would be in the same mindset and ready to do the same thing again, which I think would give him the advantage as far as searching more often for the idol. Um, so I think this episode is fantastic. Um, sad to see Sophie go. Love that Jeremy's safe. Tony's incredible gameplay. We'll see if his big move plays out long term, but I think, whew, still trying to catch my breath after that episode. Stunned, amazing episode. And so, prediction for next week, I'm really wondering if this big move from Tony and Sarah's reaction will upend Sarah's game. She's been very confident all season um it seems like okay will this upend her focus will she then otherwise decide you know what i need to tighten my focus even more and try to upend tony somehow uh or do something that says okay this is my game to to lose right now forget teaming up forget the pairs I need to focus on my game and what that and what will that look like. So um I will say Sarah goes home. Again, as I've <laughs> said this entire season, the confidence level I have in my own picks is very small. Um it could very well be Jeremy is the pick because he's been the target the last two weeks. So why wouldn't he be the target again? Um uh, so I'll say Sarah, just because it was such a big blow up that I'm expecting to see. Um, and I mean, I have to imagine that if Tony doesn't feel safe, he will play his idol, which would make him safe. And if he's butting heads with Sarah, I'm going to say that would be who the target would be. Um, 
So Tony dominates my top three highlights. Uh, I finally take my first lead in the draft with Megan this season. And uh, prediction for next week, Sarah, I think she's going to go home. And that's it. (laughs) That's where I will stop. Um, Thank you so much for coming back to listen to another recap I have for Survivor Season 40. Um, If you want to keep tabs on this podcast, you can head over to whinyparent.com and follow our blog. You'll receive updates whenever we release a new article. Or you can just head to YouTube, the Whiny Parent YouTube channel, where I upload these videos and that's where we're sourcing our podcast right now. So anytime we upload a new video, that's where it will go. Um, thank you so much for listening. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you're staying home. I still hope you're safe. Um, to everyone, essential workers and healthcare, thank you so much for all that you do. Uh, and I look forward to coming back next week to dive into the next week's episode of Survivor because if it says anything like this week's episode, it's going to be crazy. So until next time, I'll see everyone later.